All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Northeast Early College High School out here in Austin, Texas for another district game for your Trojans. It's the Trojans and the Raiders coming up here in just about five minutes. Jack Farrell here with you tonight once again. It's our second game of the week. We are finally fully into the district swing after uh, as we've hit the new year here and Anderson already entering at 2-0 and oh with a couple big wins. They beat Lhasa and they beat Navarro and now they have a chance to take on one of the, uh, the better teams in this district this season. They've got or, uh, they've come coming in tonight with a 15 and 9 record overall on the season. They are just one and one in district play so far. They've got a loss against Crockett and a win against McCallum. So we'll see what the Raiders have for us here tonight. It's one of those fresh rename schools. Haven't actually been in this gym since. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in this gym. That's exciting. I feel like I missed. Uh, either missed this game last year or with COVID protocols we weren't able to do all the away games. I remember at least uh, Navarro and McCallum we were not able to go to, but always fun to go to a new school and get to a new gym and the guys are out and they are ready to play. Anderson once again entering tonight fully healthy. Finally, this team as we've crossed into the new year is getting fully healthy and ready to go. They're starting to play some really good basketball here. The well, whole team is starting to gel, starting to figure things out. In district, Francis has been the guy to lead them in scoring, but Bennett Blackerby has been another reliable player all year. Just uh, had one, even a rough game offensively against Navarro, only tallied four points, but he bounced back. Perhaps that tournament play helped him out a little bit. He bounced back with 12 points uh, since we last were here on Tuesday, but Northeast. Getting shots up, always tough to travel to anyone's home court and get a victory, but Northeast has some has some good talent on their team. Their, uh, their leader, Jivinson, Jivinson Sylvester, excuse me, is uh, a guy who's gonna have some looks to play at the next level, already got some scholarships. So imagine he will be doing a lot of the heavy lifting for this Northeast squad today. For Anderson, look, uh, once again, Francis coming off that a tournament where he was forced to sit out their final game. Trojan's still able to pick up a victory in it, though, with uh, with an issue to his left leg. Still wearing a brace on that left ankle. He will be good to go tonight. He was wearing it last game as well, and it, it hardly hampered him. He had a team high of 17 points, but just keep an eye on that. Just want to get out of the game healthy and get through things uh, without picking up too many injuries naturally. But we are back. We are in the gym. We are masked up for the broadcast stage five back in the back in austin but no matter it's not too uncomfortable hardly notice it after after a little bit but we are ready to go just gonna have to adjust the eq on the fly a little bit but we are looking forward to this one it should be another uh an opportunity for anderson to pick up another big victory in district play and continue to climb up those state rankings this is a this is a northeast team that lost uh, by 19 to the LBJ Jaguars, the same squad that Anderson was able to beat by 26. But you never know what could go on in a district game on the road. Trojans certainly can't overlook anybody as they are the team with the target on their head right now. After what they did in the district slate last season, each of these teams that they're gonna face going to be thinking about revenge against the Trojans. They don't want to go 0-2 against them again. But Anderson looking to make it just that. we got 90 seconds left on the clock before we uh, send it on down to the PA if they're going to have it. Not sure how they run things over here at the former Reagan High School. All you Austin old heads will remember that. But do I count? I've lived here for a while. I've lived here for about 20 years just happens to be most of my life oops all righty trojans head over to the bench their bench is going to be the one right in front of us so we can zero in on them pretty well see all your favorite faces we've got our roster all filled out got both teams ready to go here all suited up It's a chilly day, and all these gyms are always 
pretty pretty close to as cold as it is outside. They're not always the, the, the best ventilated buildings. It's always chilly in here. We have got our jackets on inside. Finally getting some winter weather here in Central Texas, and I'm sure by the end of the week it'll probably be back into the 80s or something. But for now, I'm going to enjoy some cold weather and nothing like some indoor sports for some cold weather, and it's nothing like another chance for the Trojans to pick up another victory. And it looks like we may uh, go ahead and skip some of the festivities that you normally see at the beginning of a game, and we're just going to hop right into it. We're going to go ahead and skip the announcements of our starting lineup, so I guess I will go ahead and do that for you. Uh, looking for Northeast. It's going to be number zero, Sylvester, as we mentioned in the pregame. Number 11, Jared Thomas. Number 13, Jamichael Foster. Number four, this guy's a very defensive-minded guard, Kai Roberson. And number 30, Noah Flemings. For the Trojans, it's the same five that they've been rocking with since the beginning of the season. It's Wagner, Langley to tip off, Whitlow, Francis, and Blackerby. And we are underway. And Northeast going to win the opening tip. Sylvester, the one to clear it away from Langley, and they're going to get it right to him, and he's going to take it right at Francis into the basket. The shot's no good. Wagner able to track down the rebound, and here we go. Francis pushing pace for the Trojans. Looking for Blackerby in the corner, and said they'll just pull it back out and give it to Wagner. Swing back to corner, or, uh, back to the wing for Francis. They get it to Langley, and that shot's blocked underneath by Sylvester. So a nice defensive possession for Northeast to get started, and Roberson's going to be the one to bring it up. So at least for Anderson in the second half, we'll be able to get a better angle on some of their baskets as Roberson drives in, air ball, rebound Whitlow, and Mitchell going to push the other way. Hop over to Langley. Now Wagner with it on the right side. Swing it around to Blackerby. Bennett going to fire away. His shot way off to start. Francis able to knock it off of Flemings, but it goes to Langley instead of going out of bounds. That's another block for Sylvester. And over to Francis. Francis going to pull up from the mid-range and knock it down. With our current setup, not going to be able to update the scoreboard very often, so we're just going to be able to do it during dead balls. But just listen to me, and I'll keep you posted on the score. It's 2 to nothing in favor of the Trojans. Sylvester pulling up. That's off to the right. So another miss for Sylvester to start things off. Wagner gets it ahead to Francis. Jack trying to make something happen out there on the wing on Sylvester, but it's not going to work. Here's Whitlow driving in, kicks it across to Blackerby into the corner. Nate Langley, he's been stretching his range. We talked about that a little bit post-game yesterday, but he can't connect on it from downtown here. At corner three, that's the first step for the <laughs> big man turning into a stretch five. And in modern basketball, the more shooters you've got on the court, the better. Here's Jamichael Foster working around the perimeter, going right at Langley, taking it to the basket, scoops and scores. So Foster the one to open things up for the Raiders. And Northeast is tied it at two. We're under a minute played here uh, in the first. Francis loses it, nearly gets it back. Foster has it, and Francis takes it right away. Francis getting to the basket, off balance, gets the leaner. Jack Francis has both baskets for the Anderson Trojans. It's 4-2. Northeast operating at a very slow pace to get this one going. Screen up top. And the three-pointer is off the glass and rattles in. Kai Roberson, a bit of luck there. And nice screen up top from Noah Flemings. Wagner. Gets it to Francis on the right wing, back to Wagner. And now the pass to Langley, a bit inaccurate, but we are going to have a foul going underneath. Oh, no, excuse me, it went out of bounds. It uh, when the ball ricocheted off the backboard there. That's out of bounds off the northeast. So the Raiders with a one-point lead three minutes into the ball game, and now it'll be Wagner to inbound it for Anderson. Imagine they'll look for Francis underneath, but instead they find Whitlow. Whitlow going to go off one foot, and that one rattles out. It was a good shot, and Langley... Probably got away with a little foul there. It's a push off underneath, but Langley gets the basket and the follow to give the Trojans the lead back. So officials letting them play here early. Zero fouls through the first three minutes. Now there's Roberson. Looking for Sylvester. They push him through. They kick it to the corner for Foster. Foster now on the perimeter. They get it inside to Sylvester. Langley defending him. Bumps off Langley. He's going to go up with it and get it to go. Nice turnaround hook 
from Javenson Sylvester. Now coming the other way, here's Blackerby driving in, pulling up, and that's going to rattle in. Finally, Anderson gets that lucky bounce. Northeast has gotten a few nice rolls to start this one off. And here we go on the other end. Here's Roberson. Gets it to Foster, and they'll set it back out. Just about halfway through the first now, four minutes to go. Crossover. And Francis doing a nice job to poke it away from behind. Northeast there to recover. And we are going to have a jump ball, and the possession arrow will make it Anderson basketball. Now Wagner, Northeast bringing a double, which means Willow is going to get downhill to the basket. His floater off the glass is no good. Now here comes Roberson the other direction. Running the show here for Northeast. He gets around Wagner. Wagner able to stay with him. And that's going to be no good. Rebound to Blackerby. Pass ahead to Dale, but that pass was tipped. Fred able to recover it, though. Gets to the basket. That's blocked by Sylvester, and it'll stay here. Sylvester already with at least three blocks here in the first quarter. And we've still got half of it left. There's 335. Anderson with a one-point lead now with Wagner to inbound it. Whitlow's going to check out, so we'll have Dale and Duncan in off the bench. Northeast also with some guys off the bench. Manny Hymas into the game for the first time. And into Dale. They get Wagner back into the corner. Mike looks at the three and said he's going to try and find something underneath, and we have a kick ball violation going against Northeast. We've got the cheerleaders in the building up in the right corner. As they get this one into Blackerby, Bennett firing away. No good off the left side of the rim. Good job, Campbell Duncan, to try and save that thing to Francis, but Roberson there to take it away. Now pushing the other direction, they've got an open look into the corner for Thomas. Thomas's shot's no good. Rebound underneath. Wagner able to save it. Pass to Francis. Francis into the corner, and that's a, that's a travel on Francis. Francis was, uh, he's saying he juggled the pass into the jump stop, so he didn't have possession, but they're not going to get that call. Still Trojans have a nice lead. Make it a good 8-7 here. Working the ball around the perimeter. Here's Sylvester. Crosses over. He's going to pull up from downtown. That shot's no good. They're struggling early on offense, but so are the Trojans. Anderson pushing, Francis loses it, and it's taken away. So a bit sloppy to start are the Trojans. So here's Thomas with it outside. They get it over to Hymas. Back out to Roberson. He's got the only three in the game so far. As here's Sylvester getting to the basket, a little too strong, but he gets his own board back, and he finishes it underneath. Second bucket of the game for Sylvester, and Anderson doesn't really have somebody that can match the kind of physicality that he brings. He's just uh, able to bully him underneath right now as here's Francis stepping back. Wagner going to take it into the paint. Campbell Duncan didn't really have it, but he gets the, gets the shot to go. Campbell Duncan gives Anderson the lead back. It's 9-10. to 2.02 left in the first quarter. Roberson, Wagner defending. Still no fouls in the game. Thomas outside, driving in, high arcing shot is no good, rebound tapped out by Roberson into the hands of Flemings, but Campbell Duncan able to knock that one away, and Anderson has possession. Wagner gets it over to Francis, and they'll just have to reset it. Nate Langley getting ready to check back in for Anderson, screen coming. Get it to Blackerby, now Wagner in the corner, he's going to try his luck from downtown, that's no good. And we have a foul on Anderson. I believe it's going to go on Campbell Duncan. Substitutions here for Anderson. Colin Page into the game. Whitlow back in as well as Langley. And Corey Price into the game for the first time. Sylvester with it up top. Going right at Francis. Spins, shot, and that's good. Vester, third basket of the game. He's got six. It's 11 to 10. 
Whitlow taking it in up and under. Scoop shot is good. Mitchell Whitlow getting his first basket of the game. Twelve to eleven. Anderson has a lead. Fifty seconds remaining in the quarter. Here's Roberson up top. Sylvester coming up to pick up the screen. Pull up jumper is no good. Rebound hits the court. Rebound goes to Francis. Now here's Langley. Hand off to Price. We've got 40 seconds left. They get it over to Francis. And the back and forth game. Just to eat up a little bit of time. 25 seconds left here in the quarter. Francis puts his back into the defender. He'll pull back. 15 seconds left now. Back across to Price. Back to Francis. Now Francis is going to get doubled. They need someone to They need to come get him. And, yeah, you can't do that. You can't just leave your, your only player out there to get doubled with, with nobody else even outside the three-point line there. So Anderson has to burn a timeout right here at the end of the first quarter. 9.29 seconds left. In frame number one, Anderson just taking the 30-second timeout, so we'll just go ahead and keep it here. Anderson doing a good job sharing the ball. Francis, the only player with more than one basket. He's got four. Whitlow, Blackerby, Duncan, and Langley all have a basket each. Still yet to see any free throws. Just one foul in the game so far, and it's on Anderson. Anderson with the ball and the lead. But right now, having a tough time shaking northeast. 9.29, or yeah, 9.29 left in the quarter. Whitlow, they get it into Wagner. Five seconds left. Wagner crosses over, trying to get free. Oh, good backdoor cut by Whitlow. He's going to go up with it. His shot's blocked. Langley gets it back. His shot's good, but it doesn't count after the buzzer. So after one, Anderson with a one-point lead. If you remember, this is kind of how they started against Lhasa, pretty slow. It was a 7-7 seven seven game, and that one now after one here, it's 12-11. to 11. We're going to go ahead and take our first break of the broadcast. You're listening to Trojan Basketball on Vipe Live. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Back in to start the second quarter. Jack Farrell joining you here tonight, as always. Looks like uh, everything's running smoothly okay on our end. Love to see that. We're a little worried about the connection once we were getting into the gym here. But, but for now, we are ready for the second quarter. It'll be Northeast to start off with it. It's been the bench unit. That's really kind of come in and, and pestered Anderson a little bit more. But now we've got... A little mix here. And this one taken right away by Langley. Page into the front court. He's got a lane to the basket. That's no good. Rebound batted away by Roberson. Doing a good job being scrappy here. But Black would be able to save it. Kick over to Page. Page going to drive in. Gets to the basket. Lays it up. Can't get it to go. Sylvester on the rebound. They are not calling any fouls here today. Only one foul through the first quarter. It is now a 7.32. Northwest, or excuse me, Northeast. Quite the opposite. Kicks to the corner, shot on the wing is good. A little sidestep three there for Thomas. Blackerby up ahead. Gets it back to Wagner. Langley with it outside. He's going to drive in, takes it all the way in. Kicks it to the corner for Blackerby. Bennett, another look at three. No good. Anderson just can't get anything to go from outside right now. Now here's Sylvester running in like a bowling ball. He kicks it back outside. Thomas going to take another three, and that one's no good. Rebound long out to Blackerby. Now lob ahead, it's a touchdown pass to Langley, and Langley loses it going up. It'll stay down here. Nicholas Hernandez checking into the game for the first time for the Raiders. Wagner to inbound. Can't find anyone. He finds Langley finally. Nate going to put his back in, go up with it, no good. 
can't get anything going right now on offense, Anderson. So Lo Noah Fleming's on the rebound and the good defense on Langley. Here's Roberson driving in, gets to the basket, can't get the scoop shot to go. Sylvester there on the board, goes right into Page. He lowers his shoulder, and that's got to be at least three seconds. Okay, it's, uh, it's just a travel. But, man, Sylvester just put his shoulder into Page. As they're holding the whistle here early. Markell Joyner into the game now for the Raiders. Pass ahead to Whitlow. Mitchell takes it into the paint. Floater is good. Little push shot there for Mitch. He's got his second basket of the game. It's 14 all. Six minutes left in the half. Now Roberson with it. They get it out to Sylvester. Page defending him. Roberson up top, Langley defending. They get it to Flemings. Sylvester trying to get position. Flemings kills his dribble. Here's Hernandez driving in, rifles it to the corner, and that's going to be three seconds going on Sylvester. They got him that time. Fourteen apiece, 5.44 to go. Francis back into the game now. Blackerby going to get his rest. Blackerby struggling from the field here in the first half. But with Bennett, when it rains, it pours. Whitlow going to pull up for three. Page is there on the board, and they're going to get an offensive foul going against Page. It's just been the same physical game he's been playing. They get it to Roberson. Pass across to Joyner. He's doubled and it's taken away by Page and Whitlow and Whitlow, or excuse me, Page going to pick up the foul. That's finally the first foul called against Northeast today. Trojans looking to get it in. Wagner will be the one. They get it into Francis. Tight defense on Jack. And that's going to be a push going against Hernandez. And now very quickly, two fouls back-to-back -back going against Northeast. Both teams with that, two team fouls. Blackerby and Gill getting checked in. Whitlow and Page going to head out. So Anderson thinking about getting some more, uh, more offense going here. They get it to Francis. Jack crosses over. The handle's a little loose for him right now. Crosses to his left. He's going to try and get downhill. He got caught with a double team, and that's a turnover. Now pushing the other way is Roberson. And that's a that's got to be a carry, no? Someone called a whistle, right? I think that was an inadvertent whistle, but that's surprised that wasn't called a travel. With the high bounce. I think one of official might have had an inadvertent whistle there, because we definitely heard something. Hernandez inbounds it, swings it across to Joyner. Now back outside, they're looking for Tharp in the high post who's just checked in. Now Joyner, back outside, Roberson left him open for three. That's going to rattle around. He can't get back-to-back -back lucky rolls on his threes. He almost did. They get it to Francis. He's going to take it to the basket. He takes a lot of contact and gets it to go. Anderson with the lead back once again. It's 16 to 14. Now here's Joyner, or excuse me, Roberson driving in. Tries to kick it across to Thomas. He does. They get it to Joyner. Wagner able to cut it off. Now Wagner trying to take it away. Blackerby in there as well. And now we have a timeout granted to Northeast. I don't have to burn one here. Go ahead and see if it's a full or a, or a 30 second. Looks like just a 30 second, so we'll go ahead and keep it here once again. Mitchell Whitlow. Four points for him already in the game. Francis with six. He's the team high. Blackerby, Campbell, Duncan, and Langley. All with two. Anything can happen here. You never know on a 
any given Friday evening. Right now, Anderson struggling to get any separation. They have a two-point lead against Northeast. Over on the left wing, trying to get it into Sylvester. Skips it across. Thomas with it up top. He's doubled by Francis. Francis gets the poke into the backcourt, but of course, not a backcourt violation. Gill doing a good job trying to stay in front of him. Thomas takes it in, loses it into the air, stolen away by Blackerby, who fires it ahead to Jack Francis. He's going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Misses the layup. Gill is there on the follow. And Francis can't believe there wasn't a foul call. Here's Roberson. Loses it going up. That should be Trojan basketball. So Trojans with it. Francis gets it. Up ahead to Blackerby. Now they've got a three on two. Pass ahead to Gill. Jackson smartly pulls it back out. Wagner under four to go here in the quarter. Wagner crosses to his left. Gets it to Blackerby. Bennett with a good little jab step to get free and all the way to the basket. Anderson, they are, they, there's something wrong with these baskets, man. Anderson is just, uh, everything's rolling off the rims and they're just having a tough time of it. Sixteen, fourteen, coming the other way. It's just been a, a messy situation here this, uh, this first half. Anderson doing a good job. Francis takes it right back away, and now Jack, hard to believe he'll miss this one, and he just dunks it. Just a real gentle one to make sure that a basket actually goes in. But that's Francis's fourth bucket of the game, and now Jack just doing what he does best, defending people at the rim, or <laughs> defending people at, at half court and just this, uh, this deadly trap for Anderson. Francis, yeah, <laughs> he's got enough of a, of a leaping ability to take it away, and um, now we have a foul underneath. Austin Tharple head to the line. So Anderson... Now with a four-point lead, Whitlow getting ready to check in. Imagine it'll be for Gill. As Tharp misses too strong off the back rim. So Tharp looking to make it one for two. That one a little bit of a line drive. Sylvester taps it away. Thomas is there on the board. Sylvester taps it to himself, and Anderson just doesn't really have anyone that can hang with him. Here comes Blackerby. They get to Bazarian in the corner. Ben going to take a dribble, kick it back outside for Langley. Langley going to put it on the floor, take it in. Floater is good. So Sylvester has eight. And closest to him is, uh, is three. Now here's the pass over to Roberson. He kicks it cross court to Thomas. Now they get it into Sylvester. Thomas left open in the corner. That's another one for him. Finally starting to get some baskets to fall now. It's 2019, pass ahead to Francis. Two minutes to go here in the quarter. Francis crosses over, pass over to Blackerby. Bennett steps back, back to Francis. Francis going to try from way downtown. That's no good. Rebound goes to Sylvester. It's knocked out of bounds, and he clears it. Hey, man, he just getting every rebound that's near him. Let's try to remove Sylvester from the basket, and that's, that's a lot of their offense gone. Here's Tharp with it underneath. That's blocked by Langley. Now here comes Francis. Crossover, gets free, kick to the corner for Bazarian. He's going to put it on the floor. Push shot is good. Ben Bazarian getting Anderson another bucket. Matches his uh, high from, yesterday, from Tuesday's game is two points. So he's back into the scoring column here in the first half. Swings it across. Here's Roberson. Roberson driving in, back outside, firing from downtown. That's no good. Uh, Jamichael Foster was on the attempt there. Now here comes Blackerby with a minute left here in the quarter. Bennett going to pull up in transition. That's no good. Rebound Langley. Nate got two in the air. No foul call through all the contact. Nate again and gets it to go. 
Nate Langley can't get a whistle here underneath, but he can get some offensive rebounds and put the Anderson Trojans up by five. Trojans have a five-point lead now. Foster with it on the other side. They get it to the corner. Bazarian picking Foster up. They're bringing two to the ball every time. Now back to Thomas. Thomas going to take a dribble in and pull up and knock it down. Jared Thomas is another uh, offensive force here for Northeast tonight. Trojans still with a three-point lead now. 29 seconds left here in the half. Looks like... Again, we're just going to have a 30, so we'll, yeah, 30 second timeout, so we'll go ahead and keep it here. Those two guys, Jared Thomas and Javenson Sylvester, starting to fill it up here, both guys with eight. Jared Thomas, really the only guy that can get much done from, uh, from the perimeter. He's got two threes in that basket you just saw there. But Trojans have it with uh, under 30 to go, so it should stand to reason that they will enter halftime with a lead, but an opportunity to add a couple more on here. So Langley will head out. They'll put Page and Dale back in, along with Francis Blackerby and Wagner. Trojans will be on this end for the next half. Pass over to Blackerby. That one almost stolen. Now Wagner going to have to take it up. Back to Bennett. And now they'll have to think about getting it across. And they are able to now. 18 seconds left. Wagner with it over there on the right side in front of his opponent's bench. Now back to Blackerby. You've got Francis chilling down in that left corner. Pass ahead to Blackerby, under 10 to go now. Wagner, five seconds, crosses to his left, driving in. He's just going to get a floater off, gets it to go right before the buzzer sounds, and Mike Wagner picks up a good time to hit his first basket. And Anderson will head to halftime now with a five-point lead. It's 26-21. to 21. For Anderson, Francis with a team high of eight once again. Nate Langley behind him with six. Whitlow behind him with four. Now Blackerby, Wagner, Bazarian, and Duncan all have a basket apiece. Sylvester and Thomas leading the way for Northeast. They both have eight. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. Looks like we've got a shorter halftime than scheduled. I imagine they might add a few more minutes onto the board here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and put the headsets down and take a quick break. And we'll be back with more halftime content right after this. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh. To FightBYPE.com. Five Live, the leader in high school. It's true that Vibe Live, former sport, excels in high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Citywide, right to your door. Client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vipe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vipe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vipe Campus today. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. 
Email info at vitemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEVIPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEVIPE.com. Vibe Live leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Into discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, bodies will tell you that stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school in your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Coming back in, out from halftime, still a few minutes before uh, before we're going to be able to get going for this second half. But the Trojans are back out, getting some shots up after a pretty short halftime pep talk. The Trojans lead it by five here, and they're pretty lucky too. The defense has been all right. They've given up a few too many open threes, but for the most part, Northeast hasn't really made them pay. But Anderson also really struggling from beyond the arc, really can't get anything to go except for a, a lot of stuff at the rim. They're getting a few floaters to go, but the offense has, has been not at its best, and they are having a, a really hard time answering for Sylvester. What's going on? Um, okay. Yeah, having a rough time uh, finding an answer for Sylvester. Yeah, I really can't tell what that is, but it's not great. Um, but, yeah, they're having a hard time uh, stopping him. He's just very physical. He's been getting pretty much whatever rebound that he wants underneath the basket. Uh, Anderson going to have to maybe remove him um, from the post position if he can. He's really doing his best to, to fight and get down to the block. Anderson going to have to try and match that physicality or else he uh, – he can pretty much single-handedly keep them in this game with offensive rebounds and, and the like. But for now, I think we are ready to get started in this third quarter in about a minute. Both teams now back onto the court. Anderson, five-point lead. They should have the ball to start things off. But everyone onto the court getting some shots up, trying to get some of these threes to go down. Maybe they'll have better luck on this end of the court. They're getting some weird rolls over on the far end, it seemed like. But we'll see. See if they have a better time with the, uh, the batter's eye on this uh, end, so to speak. Francis leading the, tro leading the way for the Trojans once again in the scoring column. Nobody in double figures yet. There's two Northeast players with eight, one Anderson player, Francis, with eight. So here come the Raiders. Back out onto the court first. Trojans back out onto the court as well. It'll be Whitlow to inbound it. As uh, 
as now they're going to apply some pressure to start this half off. And they're going to give Thomas the start for the second half. He was one of the biggest offensive contributors for them in that opening half. And we are underway. Wagner with it. Gets it over to Francis. Francis in the corner. And he stepped out of bounds. Roberson with it. Not sure what the plan is here. As they switch Sylvester onto the smaller player. So I imagine they'll try to front him with Langley. Roberson going up with it and gets the roll. So on this end, they're finally, they're, uh, they're getting the roll. Anderson couldn't get the roll on this end. Roberson must have some incredibly soft touch on his shot because his, his things have been hitting everything. As they get it to Whitlow, he's going to try his luck from downtown. That's going to rattle around and be no good. Rebound underneath to Fleming. And Langley there to try and take it away, and it's a jump ball. It'll go the other direction, but that's all right for Anderson as Northeast already had the ball. Anderson got to ramp it up here in the third quarter and try and get some separation. Don't want to let it be close in the fourth quarter as here's Roberson getting downhill. That shot's off the side of the backboard. A bad miss there. Is Blackerby going to clear it and go the other direction? Kicks it to the corner for Francis. Francis driving in. Slips it off to Whitlow. Whitlow tries to go behind the head and gets it to go. Nice finish from Mitchell Whitlow to avoid the defender. Roberson. Wagner able to get a hand on that. Couldn't quite complete the steal, though. So a minute and a half in, both teams hit one basket so far. It's a five-point game. Fleming with it. Whitlow trying not to let Sylvester get it underneath. Roberson going to pull up. That one was blocked, and that's an easy, that's a, that's a lucky bounce for Northeast there. Is Northeast really having a hard time scoring, but Anderson also having a really hard time scoring. Whitlow now in the corner. He's going to drive in, go step back. Looking for Wagner, and he gets it to him. 6.09 to go here in the third. Wagner going to get it, pull up. That's going to be short. Rebound goes to Foster. Here comes Roberson. Whitlow, and that's a bad pass. Looked like it. Oh, they're going to call it off of a, a Trojan player's foot. Isn't sure where the call was. Now a three-point game with Northeast with the ball. Foster back out to Roberson. Francis defending him. He's going to step back for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound underneath to Langley. And Wagner coming the other way. Mike hesitates. Gets it to Whitlow. Finds Langley cutting, and that's poked away by Roberson. Now Roberson going to try in the other direction. He has no numbers whatsoever, but he still tried to take it in. Sylvester misses the shot. Rebound goes to Blackerby. Here's Blackerby, finds Langley. Langley, one dribble, goes up, and that's blocked by Fleming, but they're going to call a foul. Now Fleming's starting to talk, and the official trying to get him off of Langley, and Langley can't help but smile. I believe these are the first free throws for Anderson in this game. Up and good. Langley gets them both. Thirty twenty-five. Five minutes left here in the third, and this is about as far as Anderson's been able to push it—a five-point lead. Here's Roberson, working to his right, stepping back, and a fire away. That's going to be well short, and that's going to be an air ball out of bounds. Roberson trying to argue that uh, that was tipped, but he got excellent separation on the step back. It's just 
There's a lot of legs to a step back jumper. And he was just short on that. Wagner gets it ahead to Whitlow, and Whitlow going to pick up a big foul there. That's the second foul going on the Raiders. Man, it is cold in this gym. <laughs> Wagner bringing it up for the Trojans. Sylvester defending him. Wagner got him on his hip all the way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Rebound Fleming, and now coming the other way. Mike knows that's one he's got to hit. So here's Foster. They get it to Fleming up top. Fleming's, excuse me, and Fleming's is going to pick up a foul. Let's see who they called it on the other end. And they're going to get Langley. First team foul going on Anderson. Foster will be the one to inbound. Foster looking. You'll just have to kick it outside to Hymas, who's into the game for the first time this half. Manny with it up top. We're halfway through the third. And we are even so far in this one. As Langley diving to get the takeaway, throws it out to Blackerby, and that's a steal for Anderson. Now Bennett pushing. He's going to be doubled. Gets it to Wagner. Wagner pushing. Now they have numbers. Francis going to try from downtown. That's short. Rebound goes to Northeast, and they're going to get Whitlow bumping into him in the back. As Anderson, they have yet to hit a three today. And it's already not really their strength as a team, but... They're really struggling here tonight. Still a five-point game. It's 30 to 25. <laughs> Roberson driving right. Kills his dribble. Gets it to Flemings, and that's going to be a charge. Langley picks it up. And now Northeast starting to get a little... Uh, they're letting it get away from him, and Flemings is going to pick up a tech. You've got to let the emotions, you've got to secure that a little bit. As let's see who the Trojans are going to send to the foul line. Looks like they'll get Mike. Yeah, they'll get Flemings out of the game. And into the game now is Joyner. And Langley is delighting in this, uh, this turn of events here. As Wagner will have to come in and hit the technical free throw. All eyes on him. Rattles home. Mike Wagner able to hit the technical free throw. And he'll have one more as this is high school. Hits them both. Anderson perfect from the foul line tonight. And that gives them what feels like their largest lead of the game. Seven points. I think it very well might be as well. Anderson with the technical foul, they get the ball back as well after the charge. Wagner able to get it across the midcourt line. He has his defender stumbling. Now Langley going to take it in. Pass fake. Layup is good. Nate Langley starting to take it over here. He's the first Trojan into double figures with 10. 3.20 left here in the quarter. Page into the game now, along with Dale, Blackerby, and Whitlow out. A joiner driving in, kicks to the corner, and that's going to be a push. Do they call Page or Langley? I can't see it from that angle. I think it's going to be Page. That's now three team fouls on Anderson, four on Northeast. So we're starting to pick up a few more fouls here in this half. They pass it outside. Anderson, their bench has been very vocal tonight. Increased communication from the bench as here's Sylvester going right at Page. He's going to take it to the basket, and they're going to get Page again. And they're going to call it on the floor at least. I think that's the right call if you're going to call that bump. So Anderson, update this. 34-25, it's a nine-point lead. Shot from the corner is good, and they needed that one in a huge way. Gerard Thomas 
Really the only one doing it for Northeast right now. He's up to 11. Leads back down to 6. It's 28-34, to 34 and we have a timeout on the floor for Anderson. Sylvester and Thomas, the only guys who have scored here in this half. As it was, I believe, 23-28 at half. It's now 34-28. So Anderson plus one for this third quarter. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break with the full timeout. And we'll be back with more third quarter action for you. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. Got more Trojan hoops on Vibe Live coming out of the timeout. Anderson leads at 34-28, fresh off of the made three-pointer from Thomas for Northeast. He's got a team high of 11 for them. That's actually a game high. There's Wagner working on Thomas, crosses him over. He'll be able to get it across just in time. Working to his right, getting to the basket. He'll just throw one up, gets it to go, Mike Wagner. Anderson starting to uh, to get some lucky bounces on some of these shots, which was much uh, much lacking there in the first half. So Wagner gets the roll. That's his third made or second made bucket. It's his sixth point. So here's Sylvester going to take it right at Wagner. Go up over him. That shot's no good, but he gets his own board right back. And now tapping around, and they're going to call Sylvester for a push underneath. It'll go the other way. And that's just the kind of style that he's been playing with. Just. He can jump higher than everybody, and he's just about as tall as everybody on this Anderson team, and he can jump above them and just tip these rebounds to himself. It's, it's quite annoying and hard to deal with. Is that, oh, that cannot be a charge. His feet weren't set, and Langley barely made contact. I think we just lost our video footage. Let me get that back. All right, so back in on it after Anderson has a tough whistle there. As we have a kick ball going the other way for Anderson, it'll stay here. Let me try and get this reset. There we go. All better. Didn't miss much, Anderson. Did pick up the turnover. It's still a eight point lead for them. It's 36 to 28. Now here's driving in is Roberson and that's blocked out of bounds. It'll stay here. Nice job from Langley though. All right, now we are good to go and have our heads on straight. And they get it to Sylvester in the corner, Page defending him. Five team fouls apiece now for each team. So. We will probably have some bonus, especially once we get into this fourth quarter. Under two to go here in the third. We get it to the corner, Hernandez driving in. Langley able to save it, but that goes right out of bounds. Oh no, it goes off the backboard off of Anderson. Let's see how that wasn't off Hernandez, but we'll get a double substitution for Anderson. Page out, Langley out, Duncan in, Whitlow in. Nate picking up that foul was pretty big for Anderson. As he was starting to dominate this game. He's up to 10 points. Francis tries to get the steal, but instead he'll just let Roberson take it. Francis pokes it away from Roberson. That's off of his foot and a turnover as Anderson really trying to trying to pick on the point guard and just make it as difficult on him as possible as he has had the ball in his hands for, for a, most of this game for Northeast. And they get Liam Donahoe in for Fred Dale now for the Trojans. Whitlow will be the one to inbound. He's looking for either Francis or Wagner. They get it to Wagner in the corner. Now up ahead to Whitlow. Now Anderson will have a two-on-one. Campbell Duncan going to take it to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Donahoe is there, and they're going to get him for an over the back. And that's what Sylvester's been doing the whole game. 
I do think it was probably a foul. One twenty-one left here in the third. This has been a frantic quarter. We'll pick Roberson up at the top. Now over on the right side, it's Foster. They hand it off to Thomas. Thomas screaming around the screen, looking for somewhere to get it. Francis just got to pick him up. They get it back to Roberson. Roberson driving in, kicks to the corner. Now Joyner going to try from downtown. He can't hit. Rebound goes to Francis, spins off the defender, gets it to Wagner, and they're going to push. Here's Whitlow. Mitchell taking it in. Euro step. Shot's good, and the foul. Mitchell Whitlow exploding offensively here tonight for eight points. Some of his, uh, some of his highest total since the first game against Alamo Heights. It was a big explosion for Mitch in that first game, and here he's got eight. Not even through three. He'll have a chance to add one more. Now with that layup, Anderson has pushed the lead to double figures for the first time today. It's 38 to 28. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I should just I should just get this out. <coughs> Foul shots no good. Donahoe couldn't get the rebound. Sylvester could. Nothing like a free throw for a cough break. And with 44 seconds, Northeast with the ball. We'll see what their plan is for the final shot. They get it to Thomas. Whitlow doing a good job chasing him around the screen. Now Sylvester kicks to the corner. Back outside for Thomas. He's going to drive inside. Anderson flying around on defense. They're looking good. Sylvester, corner three is good. Seven-point game now, 20 seconds. Francis looking for somewhere to go. Gets it ahead to Wagner. Now Mike will have to push it. He does get it across, and now they'll slow it down. 14 seconds left. Anderson with another chance at the final shot. Fleming's with it outside. Or defending Wagner, I should say, excuse me. Five seconds. Wagner crosses to his left, gets into the air, goes up with it, and they're going to call a blocking foul. So more free throws coming for Mike Wagner and Anderson. That's the seventh team foul going against Northeast. So Anderson will be in the bonus from now on, but this will be a shooting foul. So two free throws for Mike. 2.8 seconds left. Sylvester up to 13. Oh, it is a one and one It looked like that might have been on the shot. They're going to call it on the floor. But Wagner hits the first nonetheless. It's 39 to 31. It's an eight-point game. 2.86 left, so they might have a chance to take a dribble and heave something up. Wagner's second free throw is no good. Donahoe taps it away. Flemings gets it, and that's a good job at least of not letting them get another shot off. So we'll move to the fourth quarter. Anderson. With the lead, they lead by eight. It's 39 to 20 or 39 to 31. They win the quarter by three points. Oh, they held um, Northeast to just eight points there in that quarter, though. So a much better third defensively and offensively for Anderson. Well, they have a lead and they'll have to nurse it as they head into this fourth quarter. Going to try and stay undefeated in district play. Push it to 3-0 and and survive here on the road. Going to take a quick 30-second break, and we'll have the fourth quarter for you right after this. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vibe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vibe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. VipeU also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each VipeU ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about VipeU today. Fourth quarter time, Anderson leading it by eight. And they will have the ball to start this final frame. Starters on the court for the Trojans. Wagner trying to get it around Thomas. He does, he gets it to Whitlow. Now Mitchell facing up. He'll have to put it on the floor, do something with it. Nearly five second violation. Wagner over to Blackerby. Bennett's been quiet tonight, just two points. And Wagner, ooh, luckily, very 
probably should have been a throwaway for Anderson, but they get it back. Now Blackerby going to drive in. Good jab step to get around the defender, but this one's tapped into the air right to Francis. Got a shot blocked by Sylvester, but fortunate bounce on the rebound for Anderson. to get it back to Francis into the corner. Now Bennett left wide open. He needs this, and he gets it to go. Bennett Blackerby, first three-pointer of the game for the Trojans, and it comes to start the fourth quarter, and that maybe that'll get Bennett going. He's up to five now. Now here's Roberson. Francis nearly got the block, but this will rattle around and in. A lucky bounce for Kai Roberson, and he's up to seven points. Trojan's going to call a timeout. So it's 42-33 to 33 now with the basket on the other end. Anderson will take that. They added their lead by one. It's a full timeout, but we just came back from break, so we'll go ahead and just stay here. I want to thank our sponsors on tonight's broadcast. Your sponsor of Trojan Basketball, Howie Breen and Herman and Enco Tech. And for us at Vipe, you know who it is. It's Academy Sports and Outdoors. At Academy Sports and Outdoors, back to school also means back to sport. And from graphic tees to football cleats, we have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com and you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. We've had those reads for a couple years now. And uh, like when I pull them up, I don't even have to read them at the beginning. I just know how they start. So I don't have to make any weird pauses. I can just go right into it. It's kind of great. It's like having your lines memorized. Pass ahead to Whitlow. Now a two-on-one for Anderson. Blackerby going to take it all the way in, misses the shot. Sylvester with the rebound, passes it over to Roberson. Now with under seven to play, Anderson with a nine-point lead. Northeast with the ball. Crossing over on Blackerby, lost it, gets it back. Now Blackerby behind the play, but Wagner able to take it away. It's another turnover for Roberson, but he gets it right back. Rebound to Thomas. Anderson getting a little aggressive, and now they save it to Flemings, and now we can take a breath. That was a hectic couple seconds there as we're at six and a half now. Thomas driving at Blackerby. He's going to step back. His shot's good, and Thomas is feeling hot tonight. Wagner gets it to Francis, over to Whitlow. Now he's into the lane. His little push shot is good. Mitchell Whitlow, he's starting to get that down tonight, and Northeast has given that to him all night. He is up to 10 points. Back to a nine-point game, 44 to 35, under six to go. Here's Roberson driving in. He pulls up. That's knocked away by Francis. Now Anderson pushing over to Francis. Jack to the basket. That's got to be a goal 10, but no, they don't call it. It falls anyway. That one definitely hit the backboard before it dropped from this angle. But Francis will take it now. All of a sudden, we have three Trojans into double figures. Langley with 10. Francis with 10. Whitlow with 10. Mitchell Whitlow playing a heck of a game. Wish we were at home so we could uh, have a conversation with him after the game as that one's out of bounds after Northeast. And everything going Anderson's way here at the beginning of this fourth. Substitutions, Roberson going to come on out. Marcus Jackson is now into the game, number three. Excuse me, that's, uh, that's to Michael Foster back in the game, number 13, not number three. Here's Francis, able to get it across. Five minutes to go here, it's 46 to 35. Jack gets it to Mitchell. Mitchell going to drive in, takes it to the basket, gets the layup. <laughs> Ooh, the way he looked off the defender with the fake pass, Mitchell Whitlow. Getting buckets today, he's up to 12. 48-35, five minutes to go. Mitchell Whitlow, where you been, buddy? Here's Sylvester, back to Francis. Jack going straight up with it. That's just a nice job by Sylvester, going up and getting a bucket over the smaller defender. Trojans still lead it by 11. We're almost halfway through the quarter. Pass ahead to Whitlow, and Sylvester able to come steal it away. Now Anderson trying to get a jump ball, and they gave it to him. So we have a jump ball. No, they're going to give it to him. They're going to give them the timeout. Looked like Anderson had hands on the ball, but they're going to give them the timeout, keep things a little more interesting here. It's a full timeout, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Anderson now with an 11-point lead. Go ahead and update it on the scoreboard first. It's 48 
to 37. And with that, 30 seconds, we'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Back in out of the timeout. It will be Northeast ball. They do trail it by 11 points. Anderson doing a good job playing some defense here in this half as they're going to let it be in the hands of Jamichael Foster. Four and a half to go. Foster to Sylvester. He's got it way outside, but he'll get downhill. Jack just takes it right away, and now Anderson has numbers. Francis is going to take it all the way in, and that one's blocked, but Wagner's there to follow it, and they're going to count the goal. They're going to call that a goal 10. They're going to say this one hit the backboard first, so this time they will get the goal 10. That's the second nasty chase down block Sylvester has had, and even if it doesn't count as a block, if it counts as a goal 10, that's still a feat of athleticism there to go get those double chase downs here. Here's Foster firing away. That's going to be an air ball, and Anderson would be behooved to just let that go. Yep. My roommates yeah. all made fun of me for saying the word behooved, and I don't care. I think it's a great word. Behooved. You don't hear that one a lot, and I think you should. 50-37. Four minutes to go. Francis looking for Wagner. Back over to Jack. Back over to Mike. And now pass it to Head. Now they'll just, they'll just take it slow. Pass ahead to Whitlow. Whitlow going to take it in. Floater again. <laughs> Can't get that one. Langley batting it around, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Nate. But Anderson will take it as they do milk some more clock. It's 349 left in the game. They lead it by 13. And now both teams out of fouls to give. Got Roberson back into the game now. As Kai has uh, struggled here tonight with turnovers. So 344 and counting. Anderson up by 13. It's 50-37. Sylvester steps back into the corner. Now over to Joyner. Joyner driving on Francis. Gets a look at the rim. No good. Good job by Francis to, uh, to potentially affect that shot. But a good job by Hernandez. Francis, Francis wasn't paying attention, gets the steal. Now Sylvester's driving in. He loses it going up. That's Anderson Ball. As Northeast just can't stop turning the ball over here late. As Wagner, good job to let everyone go by him. Whitlow, that was going to Blackerby, but Mitchell intercepts it. And now Roberson going to pick up the jump ball. So Roberson comes and takes that one away from Whitlow. Maybe he should have let it go to Blackerby, but it's a jump ball. Now 314 left. Still 50-37. Make sure we've got it right on the scoreboard, and we do. Francis and Whitlow lead the team with 12. Langley right behind them with 10. Now Roberson stepping back, hitting the shot. Nine for him. As they're trying to get it in. And they're going to get Anderson in an offensive foul. And at this point, mm, Anderson's just got to keep the ball. Three minutes left. Coach Pittsburgh doesn't like the calls that Anderson is, uh, is being subject to here, is it? Just keep the Northeast somewhat close. As here's Roberson. Crosses to his right. Langley picks him up. Nate doing a good job staying with him. He gets around him. Can't get it. Sylvester loses the rebound. Wagner collects it. And now Wagner stuck with another jump ball, and it'll go the other direction, it looks like. And no, they're just going to call a foul on Roberson, getting a little too overzealous. So Anderson will keep the ball and the possession arrow, and that's a foul far away from the basket that sends Anderson to the line. But when you're in the one-and-one, -one, you might be okay with the foul far from the basket because it could be a chance to get the ball right back quickly. But Wagner has got to hit the front end. Mike with six here tonight. Both teams in the bonus. Trojans got the starters in right now. 
First free throw is good. Mike Wagner nonplussed at the line that time. He's up to seven. Puts the Trojan lead up at 12. Here's Wagner again. Gets them both. Mike up to eight. Anderson up to 52. Back to a 13-point lead with 2.45 to go. And with no shot clock, it's going to be tough for Northeast. They're going to have to pitch a perfect game, it feels like. Now back outside, get it out of his hands for Thomas. Now they get it back to Roberson. Roberson going to drive in. Wagner tried to poke it away, but they're going to get him headed to the line. I imagine this will probably be on the floor, but if it's on Francis, it might be uh, might be two shots. But either way, it will be free throws. It will be two shots for Roberson. 2.34 left. Roberson's first free throw is good. He's into double figures now, along with Thomas and Sylvester. The only other player that scored for Northeast is Foster. They've got it into the 40s now. So here's Roberson's second. Gets it to go. That one rattled around a little bit more, but still true. They're looking for somebody. They get it to Wagner. Now Wagner off to Francis. Now Jack with a little bit of a lane to get across half court, and he's got to think about it. Pass over to Wagner. Now Anderson calling a timeout once that gets across half court, so they'll reset it here. But with 2.25, Anderson has an 11-point lead, and they will be in the bonus for the rest of the game. This went a little frantic. Well, I'm glad I'm missing this Rockets game. That's good. I don't even think Lucas playing tonight. That's a little embarrassing, but hey, we are bad. So it's fine. 40 seconds left in the timeout. We'll just go ahead and keep it here. Sylvester with a team high 15 for Northeast. Anderson got Francis and Whitlow. Big game for Mitch on the defense and offensive end. And mostly he's just been taking what Northeast has been giving him. They've uh, let him get into the lane quite a bit, get to the basket. He's made some excellent plays himself as well, some good pass fakes to, to free himself up. But he has just uh, been doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing, making the right reads and, and making the right decision when he does get the ball in his hands. And he's done that to the tune of 12 points here. So it'll be Anderson basketball with 2.25 to go. Now looking just to get it in. They get it to Wagner. Now Mike with Thomas on his hip. Clock will wind. 2.20 to go. Wagner crosses over, gets free. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. He gets it to Langley. Langley, that's a foul. They'll get Joyner on the, on the reach. It'll be Nate Langley to the line for two. Langley misses the front end. It's tapped into the air, and that's lucky for Anderson because Nate gets it right back, gets a layup, can't get it. Sylvester gets the board. And they're going to get Langley on the foul, and it's not on Sylvester for throwing the elbows. So with 2.04, Anderson with an 11-point lead sends Northeast to the line. But fortunately for Anderson, that's the last time they have to think about the one and one. So it will be both teams in the double bonus moving forward. First free throw is good. They'll get Gill into the game for Francis. I think if they need to, Anderson has plenty of uh, timeouts. That is Francis' fourth foul, though. Free throw's no good. Rebound Wagner. So now a 10-point game for Anderson. Wagner is trapped backcourt. He just fires it ahead to Gill, and they fell asleep on him. He has to get it off. Lays it up and in. Jackson Gill might be the dagger. They completely fell asleep on the young man. Just because he's a sophomore doesn't mean you can just leave him. And it's now a 12-point game again. 
with a minute and 45 left. Here's Roberson working his way around a screen. He's going to pull up. Instead, he's going to kick it over to Thomas. Thomas got caught into the air. Now over to Roberson again, dumps it off to Sylvester, but he waited too long. There's absolutely zero spacing, but it doesn't matter for, <laughs> for Sylvester here. Still a 10-point game. Over to Whitlow. Mitchell pushing, trying to avoid getting the foul picked up. He dumps it off to Blackerby. Now Bennett with it outside. A minute 20 to go. Anderson still leads it by 10. Look across for Wagner. They find him. They're looking for Langley in the high post, but instead they'll just pull it out and wait for Northeast to do something to him. And they are milking some sweet clock here. We've just got a minute left. Blackerby gets around him. Hop step, and that's going to be a jump ball. But it will stay here for Anderson, fortunately for them. And Blackerby just picked up a tech. But it should be Trojan ball. Because Anderson is really getting a tough whistle down the stretch here. I'm just not sure what the rule is. Is it two shots and the ball, or is it two shots and whatever was on the court? I believe that's what it is. It's not a flagrant. As here's Thomas to the line, as he's been pretty automatic from the field today, so don't imagine foul shots are going to be too tough for him here. That was on purpose. You're welcome, everybody. I'll take the announcer jinx on that. This guy's awesome at free throws. I've never seen him miss one in my entire life. Yeah, can't get it twice. So Thomas goes one for two on the technical foul. So yeah, they get the ball back on the tech. So it's like the jump ball didn't happen and they get the jump ball. So it's just about the best case scenario there for Northeast is they're looking for something to do with the ball here is here's Thomas. Nine seconds left, 50, er, nine points, 55 seconds left. Here's Foster driving in at Wagner, takes it to the basket. He misses, affected uh, on the shot by Wagner. Wagner gets it to Gill, and now Gill's got to slow it down, get it back to his point guard, and they'll just keep it in the hands of somebody. Is now Northeast, it would, once again, when you say behoove, it would behoove them to start fouling. And behoove them it, it did. But uh, I wouldn't want to send Francis to the line, but that's who they get. So now Anderson with just a nine-point lead, but a chance to add to that here. And effectively, it would seem, put the game away with 37 seconds and a current nine-point lead. We'll get Donahoe into the game. Imagine that's the end of Blackerby's night with the technical foul. He misses the first. So Francis has just got to push it back to double figures here on the second free throw. It's uh, the starters minus Blackerby plus Gill for now. Jack goes one for two. So Francis... That'll put him on the high side uh, for Trojan scoring. He's got 13 to Whitlow's 12. But now it's 45 to 55. Anderson with a 10-point lead. And they haven't started the clock. Clock, 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 clock. They haven't started the clock. They didn't start the clock for 10 seconds. Northeast just gets 10 extra seconds in this game. Hopefully it doesn't matter, but that's ridiculous. The clock didn't start until they were fully on the wing. And now they're going to call out of bounds on Anderson. This has just been awful officiating here in the fourth quarter, and now the clock is getting in on it. Not an awful officiate, just bad management there in the fourth quarter as Hernandez's shot is no good, and Wagner clears away the rebound. As that one's just stolen away by Sylvester, an ill-advised pass, but now on the ground they will call a foul. This time they do start the clock on time, but it's still a turnover for Anderson, but with 14 seconds left, it may be too late. Mike, I've never seen something like that. I've never seen the clock go that long without being started. It was stuck at 37 seconds for, for a very long time, and Northeast was just given extra time in a close game down the stretch, and Sylvester misses the free throw. Sylvester hits the free throw, so he's up to 19, almost to 20 points for Javenson. And now they get it to Langley. Ten seconds left as they're just trying to play keep away here. Wagner, nice roll over to Langley. Langley to Whitlow. Gill, and that is how the game is going to end. Anderson escapes. 
55 to 46 in another district game. They move to 3 and 0. Northeast falls to 1 and 2. Anderson survives some some tricky stuff here to pick up the victory 55 to 46 and with the uh, with it being an away game we're going to go ahead and hold off on uh, having a player interview as they usually like to just get us out of the gym uh, but the player of the game to me has to be Mitchell Whitlow here tonight just an excellent showing from that young man he put up 12 points the defense was there just made all the right decisions heck of a game for Mitchell Whitlow and Anderson picks up the victory it is 46 to 55 we will be back with you next Tuesday I believe that'll be another home game I think the Trojans have Lockhart coming up so they move to 3-0 and uh, not in the most beautiful fashion for the Trojans but they'll take the victory and with that, we're going to go ahead and take it to our weekend as well. Your final score, 55-46, to 46, Trojans get the victory. Heck of a showing from the Trojans here tonight. And with that, I have been Jack Farrell. It's always a pleasure bringing these broadcasts to you. I'm excited to, uh, to come back and have another home game so we can get talking with some of these guys, uh, what they see and what they need to work on and what they think uh, are the strengths of this team and the weaknesses. It's always good to get insight from people actually involved uh, and actually a part of the team so and also super thankful to those guys for uh, for being willing to come when they're sweaty and tired and uh and all that there's a there's a funny blake griffin clip i think he was on fallon about how athletes always sound kind of stupid because they're always being interviewed when they are the most tired that they have ever been and these anderson kids have been super eloquent so far and, and given me some pretty good answers and some some pretty good insight so I'm looking forward to, to having some more of that throughout the season. But for now, Anderson picks up the victory on the road, 55-46. They eke out a win over Northeast. They'll have another chance to take these guys down uh, at home later on in the season. But for now, the Trojans improve to 3-0 and in district play. I've been Jack Farrell. Always a pleasure. Always enjoy bringing you some Trojan basketball. Always happy to go on the road and do it as well, I imagine. We get a little more, uh, get a few more listeners once we're on the road here tonight. But... Gonna go ahead and hop off now and say goodnight. Hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you on Tuesday.